right, uh, back here from a little Subway uh, sandwich I had over lunch here. It was incredible. But uh, today we're going to talk about uh, investing and uh, kind of starting from the basics today. And we're going to talk about how come it is that, uh, how come wealthy people seem to find all the good deals and uh, average people uh, don't seem to find the good deals. Well, there's, there's basically one major reason uh, for these deals, in my opinion. Uh, and there's a couple secondary reasons, but there's one major one. Essentially, uh, average people, uh, people like you and me, we can't um, get, gain access to uh, a lot of the top investments unless we are an accredited investor. So what is an accredited investor? Um, as I go for my handy dandy real estate guidebook here, you look here, an accredited investor is someone who actually has an annual income of 200000 or more. So if you're watching this, ask yourself, do I self, do I have an uh, income of 200000 or more? If you don't, then you're not an accredited investor. Option two to be an accredited investor is that like a husband and wife uh, uh, combo, a mar married couple, they can have a $300,000 or more annual income. So again, if you don't have a $300,000 or more annual income as a couple, you're not accredited, an accredited investor. Or if you don't have an annual income at all, maybe you played in the NBA for a few seasons and now you have a million dollars or more of net worth, then you are an accredited investor. So the thing is, is that you, uh, if you're not an accredited investor, the SEC, that fabulous organization there, the Security and Exchange Commission, uh, was set up to protect people such as you and me from uh, uh, investments that you know you might you might get ripped off, kind of a deal. You know, to protect you, uh, the SEC doesn't allow you to invest in certain things unless you are an uh, accredited investor. However, why would it be? that accredited investors would want to even invest in those kind of deals. It's because they're initial public offerings and it's because they're, they're deals that are they're better deals. There's obviously you can lose your shirt but you can also gain a lot too. So I kind of look at it, it, I liken it to basically not giving people an opportunity to get the best deals unless they have a lot of money, which somewhat makes it hard to get a lot of money. Um, so that's how that works. So. Um, the, the number one rule you want to think about right now as you go into investing and use, you get the mindset is, am I, am I an, an accredited investor? No. Okay. So the rule here is that you must not want to become an average investor. You must strive to become the top, the top investor out there so that you can become an accredited investor so that you can uh, seize those best deals and see, get those best opportunities as they come available. Uh, for more information about it, uh, what an accredited investor is, you can go to the SEC's website and check that out. I'm sure it's sec.gov or something like that. Check it out. But again, uh, the main thing we want to talk about on today's lesson is accredited investors get to see all the good deals. And if you're not accredited, you can't get to see all the good deals. So our goal is to get everybody, myself and you, over the hump uh, over the coming months as you watch these videos so that you can have access to the big deals and the best deals that are out there.